Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The February 2024 is going to be an interesting month for defense enthusiasts as this is the month when HL will be delivering its first production standard of LCTS Mark 1A. The fighter jet will soon become the backbone of Indian Air Force after Su-30 MKI as 83 LCTS Mark 1A are already on orders and other 97 are to be placed soon taking the total count of fighter jet to 180 HL is looking for early delivery of the first order of STS Mark 1A which consists of 83 fighter jets the PSU is targeting 2028 as the delivery date for the aircraft HL has current capacity to build 8 LC aircraft per year and this is being increased to 16 aircraft every year by 2025 and further to 24 aircraft per year in next 3 years talking about tes mark 1 it is an improved version of lc tejas which will feature advanced mission computer high performance digital flight computer smart multifunctional display advanced electronic scan array or aesa radar advanced self propulsion jammer and electronic warfare suite The revamped Digital Flight Control Computer or DFCC of LCTS Mark 1A will be based on power PC based computing architecture which will drastically improve the computing power of the platform compared to the flight computer of LCTS Mark 1 which is based on 386 series processor. The new DFCC will feature quadruplex power PC based processor, high speed autonomous state machine based IO controller, enhanced computational throughput and complex onboard software compiled on D0178C level a safety requirement. The DFCC can be considered as a fighter aircraft's brain. ADA has designed this and it has been even qualified for LCA Mark 2. The new Mark 1A DFCC will have significantly higher processing power which will allow the fighter jet to add many more advanced capabilities in the flight control system. On 19th February 2024, the LSP7 prototype of LC Tejas integrated with the new digital fly-by-wire flight control computer has successfully flown. All the critical parameters and performance of the flight controls were found satisfactory. The maiden flight was piloted by the retired wing commander Siddhar Singh of National Flight Test Center. In the image shared by Ministry of Defense, we could also see LCA Tejas integrated with the Astra Mark 1 and R73 missile. Interestingly, the LSP7 was used even for the maiden test fire of Astra Mark 1 missile on 23rd August 2023. The missile was released from this aircraft at an altitude of about 20000 feet and it has successfully met all the mission objectives. It has also been reported that by the end of February LCA Mark 1A is expected to fly and it will straight away deliver to Indian Air Force. The Air Force may do some training at HL Bangalore. The Indian Air Force has already begun sending existing 2 LCA squadrons on detachments to forward air bases along the western and northern frontiers as it was witnessed recently when a squadron in Avantipur in Jammu and Kashmir was sent with LCA Tejas for training the confidence of indian air force in the flying machine has been demonstrated by the willingness of air force to deploy their fighter aircraft to the forward air bases LCA Tejas from flying bullet squadron of indian air force has also participated in Milan 24 at INS Dega Visakhapatnam India is also aggressively pursuing the sale of LCA Tejas to the foreign air forces the prime minister narendra modi has also given his stamp to the LCA Tejas after he flew in the twin seater Tejas at HL in November 2023 this was the first sortie of its kind uh, in any fighter jet by indian prime minister This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.